All right, welcome back vloggers. This is Devin once again with Oriana and today we have Naomi. So Naomi, go ahead and introduce yourself. Thank you, Devin. Thank you so much for doing this. So my name is Naomi Call, and um, some of you might know me as Logan Call's mom. I seem to often get that when I'm walking around Oriana. So I do, um, I do help my son Logan Call with plant and cuisine, but uh, mostly a lot of people know me as a yoga teacher in town. I do a lot of work with the senior centers and with Cordia and New Moon Yoga. I kind of teach a number of different places and. Um, I have a little farm out in Maple City as well, and I'm an herbalist, and I love growing edible flowers and medicinal herbs, and have a couple of little products at, at Oriana that I really appreciate being able to make and offer there. So I kind of wear a few different hats. I love it. It's fantastic. Your edible flowers are beautiful and tasty, and the salts are gorgeous and, again, tasty. So thank you for what you do. <laughs> thank you. Um, so what are you going to share with us today? Well, what I thought would be nice to do today is, as you notice, I have like my billboard shirt on here. Um, I, I often wear this as a little sweatshirt before we get started with yoga because I feel like positive thoughts are important all the time, but now more than ever to really work with affirmations. And I know different people have ideas about affirmations like, you know, do they work, don't they work? But I feel very strongly about the power of our thoughts. and. I've made a couple of different decks of cards. I have, um, so I have one, one set that is called Flower Wisdom. This is the little book actually that goes with the set. And so I begin every yoga class by kind of fanning out my cards, which have all different photographs of flowers that I've shot in the United States or in the United Kingdom. Um, and so it's a really nice connection to walk up to each student and have them pick a card and um, and then they share actually out loud the positive affirmation that's on the card. And cards like this are really easy to make and I just want to be a great at home project and whether it's as a solo project or as a family project and it could be photographs that you've taken and if you have a printer you could print them out but you know we we often talk about vision boards and it is wonderful and i think that's also a great at-home project if you're not familiar with that you know it's an opportunity with a lot of those magazines that might have been piling up to um just sit down and cut out like images or words that are representational of kind of what you're aspiring toward or the things that just light you up the things that right now would really nourish your heart so in the same way that we make those vision boards you could be making affirmation cards and writing either hand stamping or writing have colored pencils markers i just think this would be really fun for the kids especially now you'll notice i mean if you're not familiar with this idea like all the back of my cards actually the symbol that's on there is called the flower of life but i think it's really awesome if the back of the cards are all the same and that way you really don't know what you're getting so i think that's kind of a fun thing um so that was one idea was the idea of affirmation cards the other thing which which is at oriana is that i also got inspired to make these little gratitude cards and i also think this is another really good family project so and i approached it two different ways i have um a lot of the deck is quotes and i and i thought maybe i could just share this quote um yeah okay one of my um this is one of my favorite quotes hopefully i won't get too emotional reading it so it says, gratitude unlocks the fullness of life. It turns what we have into enough and more. I love it already. It goes on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna take one of those deep breaths. No, oh, I understand. I, I, I love this already. And I, um, I also start my yoga classes with uh, those gratitude cards or the um, inspiration affirmation cards like you do. Um, I have some, but I didn't realize you had some that I could purchase. So I'm going to have to get some of yours. That's so beautiful with your pictures of the flowers on them. They're nice. gorgeous. Yes, absolutely. You know, I think with the affirmation cards, like I just have so many quotes that obviously I'm moved by and that I love, which is why I put a lot of the quotes on. But the other thing that I did that I think would be really fun, especially like as a family activity, is 
that I did a lot with questions. Like, um, what do you feel the most gratitude for this morning? Or what are you most grateful for about your parents or your ancestors? Uh, what are you most grateful for about nature? What are you most great? You know, like you get the idea. I mean, yeah, um, no, that's such a good idea right now to start each day with that. Yes. It's a huge step in the right direction of keeping our mindset a little more positive, a little more grateful because yeah. there's so much out of our control right now, but there's a lot that we can control. Right. So if we can focus on those things, which is, you know, our mindset and things like that, that's a really good way to shift it. Yes. Yeah. And whether we keep them like out in the, you know, in a basket or a bowl on the table. And so you just have that opportunity to bring that level of reflection and, you know, it is with the news and everything now. I mean, just the more that we can focus on our blessings and, you know, the things that we are really grateful for throughout the day. You know, I always thought it was kind of odd that we had like one, you know, one Thanksgiving day. You know what I mean? What's up with, yeah, exactly. What's up with that? <laughs> so, um, so I just thought these would be really good projects and, um, and something that could kind of bring us together and that we could share as a family or again, whether we do it solo, just so we have those kind of supportive things around us all the time. Yeah. I love that. That is fantastic. Is there anything else that you'd like to share with our uh, guests, our viewers today? Any other tips on staying healthy that you've been doing? Um, well, I've been doing all the, the usual things, you know, that, um, Lots of hot broths, you know, all the good food and plenty of time to cook. And as a chef, it's, you know, it's the, the kitchen is really, you know, kind of definitely the heart of my home. And um, so, yeah, I don't think, I mean, being out in nature, you know, the, the things that we do know to do, I, I just also thought I should explain where I am. I am being really socially responsible. So I don't usually hang out in a garage, but this is it's actually my friend's garage. The internet is horrible at my house, and so I can't do any Zoom, which has been challenging because I am still trying to teach um, some some Zoom classes, which I'm grateful for that opportunity. But so, in an effort to be incredibly responsible, I'm using her garage, and um, so I apologize for the <laughs> surroundings. But thank you for being socially distant and responsible. We appreciate it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Well, thank you again for your time and your fantastic creative ideas. We are so fortunate to have you in our community and as a special guest today. So thank you again, Naomi. Thank you. Thank you all. Stay safe and happy and keep re repeating those affirmations. It does make a difference. Mm -hmm. Absolutely.